Alright, I've been watching quite a bit of Daredevil on Netflix recently, so I went out, got this box, I'm in season 3, and guess who makes an appearance there as well? Both characters! Spoilers, sorry, should have mentioned that first. Fear can be overcome, and that is so true. In life, there's fear, go out and face it. Even if it's cockroaches, ugh, I hate those things. <laughs> so here we go. Bullseye, Daredevil, love the combo. Um, pop this open, let's see what's in there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Quite a bit of plastic. So we've got good plastic, throwing that away. Got the instructions. Now instructions are a good source for, get to give you a sense of what that assembly would look like. Not too bad. I am gonna hate that, that, that whip thingy, the cord. Just hope it doesn't snap when I'm playing. So, pop that open, let you guys take a look at what's inside. Good chunk of plastic, again, I, I, I want to be very careful with that whip cord. The base is not unique, so I'm just going to put that aside. Nice, really nice. This is Bullseye, it's basically his entire kit. Again, very shallow um, detail, so I definitely use a thinner primer or when you're priming be careful now of course we've got daredevil and he's ew, this one just just tragedy waiting to happen if you don't have a magnetized transport yet I suggest you look at it because it might actually happen so here we go so these are the fantastic cards let's pop it open see what's in there uh, oh oh something fell out I think this is his oh Matt Murdock's head <laughs> Uh, that means I may have to build Matt Murdock first, otherwise I run the risk of losing that head. Losing your head. Alright, so let's take a look at Daredevil himself. Matt Murdock, does he belong to any affiliations? No, he doesn't. No. He doesn't. I wonder why. I thought he would be. Hmm. So, okay. So Daredevil, he is Matt Murdock. The lawyer he moves L which makes him extremely fast size 2 um, 5 HP as well and so that's not bad he's got yeah it's it's a four threat after this attack is resolved with the strike this character gains power equal to damage stun so strike is nothing too unique quite common to most characters beat and hook this ignores line of sight and the defending character does not benefit from cover that's pretty good Push. So this gives a bit of control. Maybe that's what gives him the four points or four threat level. Devil's Deliverance. This attack deals two dice to each of its adds two dice to each of its attack rolls for each non dazed enemy character within two inches of this character when this attack was chosen. Wow. This is like his uh, area of effect attack. After this attack resolved, the target character is pushed away from this character S. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's like he spins and he just pushes everybody back. Um, I like that. I've been looking for a character like that for a while actually. Especially on those missions where you've just got to go grab like two points. So, men without fear after an attacking, after an attack targeting this character is resolved, this character may use the superpower if the attacker is within two inches. Sorry, range two, this character may make a strike attack targeting it. Oh, that's not bad. It's got a, quite a bit of out of activation turn kind of um, thing going on here when defending radar sense when defending against physical or um, I don't know what that energy physical and energy attack this character adds blanks in its defense rules to its to its total successes radar sense oh okay that is reminds me of vibranium armor and it's a wall crawler too hmm. fits right in with the rest of the spider-man <laughs> devil of hell's kitchen is that new yeah that's definitely different so when he's hurt, he's pissed. This character may immediately perform an attack with power cost of zero against an enemy character within two. After the attack is resolved, if the attack roll contains any skull results, this character suffers one hit. This superpower can only be used once per turn. Oh, okay. Ooh. That can be bad. I only got six HP on this side and five on the other. Hmm. Somebody that can heal this guy, maybe? Or one of the cards can help heal? might help. We've also got Bullseye here. 
throwing knife he's got a 5m 2 3 3 3 3 uh, the defending character does not benefit from cover it's after this attack resolve this character gains power equal uh, to the damage bleed pin cushion the defending character does not benefit from wow so bullseye basically just says ah you think you've been in cover see ya he is only three points hmm. defending character does not benefit from cover after this attack is resolved the target character gains bleed so that it takes four power to do um after this attack is resolved gain bleed rapid fire Ooh, he can do it again without paying the power cost additional target Sorry, additional attack must target the original target character. The additional attack does not have to rapid fire. The additional attack does not have to rapid fire. Hit and run. Ooh. Actually, this guy can combine with Green Goblin would make a really, really hit and run kind of force. I think that's pretty cool. I never miss. After an attack made by this character is resolved, if no damage was de dealt as a result of that attack, this character may use the superpower. Target character suffers one damage Ooh, if no damage was oh okay that's pretty cool so for one power you basically buy an insurance um to deal that opponent another one damage or at least one damage uh, parting shot after an attack targeting this character resolve this character may use this superpower get uh, suffers one attacking character suffers one damage this character may advance away from the attacking character s ah oh, that's pretty cool just give him a bit of movement shenanigans nothing different from the back it's pretty much the same thing so i won't go through that um tokens ah so this is the red activation tokens now i've been looking for them only because if my opponent uses green now i only have green at least now i've got some options to put down the red ones so we've got the days and then also the stun tokens now the cards acute senses during a character's activation may spend one power Enemy do not benefit from stealth. Ooh, this character ignores line of sight when activate attacking this activation. Really good if you see Spider-Man Miles Morales on the table. Climbing gear. Mm. Isn't that Moon Knight? Yes, it is. Any character may spend three power to play this card. This character gains wall crawler until the end of the round. This character immediately advances S. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, what's this? Cruelty. Twist the knife. Criminal Syndicate. If an ally character damages an enemy character with an attack during its activation, after the attack is resolved, the attacking character may spend 2 power to play this card. The attacking character immediately performs the attack listed above the targeting above targeting the damaged character. Oh, okay. Performs the attack listed above. Here. Twist the knife. Ooh. Ooh. So it's range 5. That's huge. 5 power, 0 power, so 5 uh, strength, 0 power. Hmm. That's pretty good. If you combine this with Bull's Eye ability, which is I never miss, he basically can do this quite easily. It makes sense. It's his face. <laughs> this attack can only have dice added to the attack from crit results. Oh, and this character cannot modify his attack dice during this attack. So it's not that powerful. Okay, not too bad though. I like it. Alright, that's it for Daredevil and Bullseye. I hope you guys enjoyed that. See ya!